The last few weeks of the school year can be challenging for students and teachers alike. A big reason is that the outdoors is calling and kids would rather be out there than inside. 1,500 Wyoming school kids got their wish in early May and got a biology lesson in the process. It began back in January when shipments of rainbow trout eggs arrived at their schools with a task for the students to raise them to stocking size. It's all part of the National Trout in the Classroom program. It's where students from 28 Wyoming schools learned about the life cycle and aquatic habitat of trout. The program is made possible by a partnership with Trout Unlimited and the Wyoming Game and Fish Department, with the final assignment being the release of the fish into local fisheries. On this day, a group of students from Cheyenne and Torrington released their projects into Sloan's Lake. Students were charged with maintaining the water quality, feeding the fish, and monitoring the health of the fish. A main objective of the program is for students to learn the connections between the trout, the water resources, the fish need, and the role people have. The program was designed specifically for teachers who wanted to incorporate hands-on environmental education into their curriculum. Fish were released in 12 different ponds across the state, including Sloan's, Alsop Lake outside of Laramie, Cleanburn Pond near Sheridan, Lyman City Pond, and other waters, all of which had the approval of Game and Fish. In addition to learning about fish biology and aquatic ecosystems, students were also taught about the importance of not releasing invasive species like goldfish or other pet fish into waters like the local fishing waters. That's due to the damage they can cause to fisheries. Is there a future biologist in this group? Could very well be, but at the very least, programs like Trout in the Classroom inspire the next generation of conservationists and anglers. And they're having fun while participating. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.